My name is Jackie and I am a lead investigator and administrative assistant at San Antonio Investigations. I do pretty much uh, almost all the services that we offer, so that would be uh, undercover buys, trademark investigations, so that's intellectual property, I do background investigations, um, I've done surveillance only a few times, I also do asset checks and locates and domain acquisition. Oh my gosh, I love it. And yeah. uh, it's I love it because it's everything's different every day. It's like, you know, you're doing the same stuff, but it's the cases are different, so that's yeah. really nice. I've been doing it for three years and I keep telling myself it's gonna get easier <laughs> and like still it's I have to like sit there for a couple seconds and just okay, what am I gonna say? What if he says this? And how am I gonna back out of this situation? But it's really easy because you just have to keep thinking, what are they gonna say? They're not gonna reach to the phone and punch you in the face, you know? They're just gonna say, I'm not gonna tell you that, and then you gotta be like, okay. I mean, you, you can't always win. Yeah. Most of the time you do, but you know, there are a lot of times where people are very suspicious. And, but I think, I think it's fun. I think it's very fun because you gotta be creative that way, but it's also a little, you can be a little nervous. There was this person uh, and he had a bunch of um, social media accounts and he was he was stalking this one woman and I can't remember, she was some famous woman, I don't remember if she was a model or what, but he would like letters, he'd write letters to her and post them on Facebook like, I love you and I can't wait to meet you and I'm coming out to see you and it was, there was a whole bunch of them, not just to her but to a bunch of other people and we had to figure out where he's staying because I guess he kind of moved all over the place and we had to track him down before he, you know, actually got in contact with her because, you know, who knows what would happen, but he was kind of um, I think we hired somebody and maybe they went, I think they went somewhere or there was something in the social media that kind of hinted to it and we talked to people and they told us where he was or where he usually hangs out. And he, I mean, because people who are kind of like that just kind of, they don't really know what they're putting on social media and they don't really care so they kind of put, oh, go in here, here's my ticket to this place and, and when you kind of know a general area you start talking to people and they can kind of tell you. You know, especially somebody like that, because everyone knows kind of who he is in a way. Tomorrow there might be some new technology that makes something that we do way easier, but I can't like, I can't comprehend that, so I don't know. Like right now, I think that we're really taking advantage of all the technology that we have, so I think we're using everything and doing everything to the best of our ability. It's everything we do protects individuals and businesses, so there's a big impact.